In an effort to remove some uncertainty about the November 9, 2011 National EAS test, we decided to recreate an EAN, an emergency action notification, in a closed environment and watch what would happen. We tested the equipment we had available, in this case, the index from Sage Alerting Systems. In the video, we're only going to discuss settings and procedures related to the index that will receive the EAN and the way equipment should behave at the participating radio stations. We're not going to cover any settings or modifications that will enable an index to send an EAN. The EAS tones you hear will not be valid EAN tones. Manufacturers strongly discourage attempting this. The EAN codes can wreak havoc if they ever make it on the air, even if the level is low. And we've been told that just about every time this has been attempted, the tones end up causing off-air time for the station or even a whole market. Hopefully this demonstration will take some uncertainty out of the process so you won't need to do it yourself. Before conducting the test, we consulted two Sage Alerting Systems service bulletins. One service bulletin was specifically related to settings and procedures for the EAS national test. The other is related to level checking procedures for the Sage Index. Before participating in this test, we urge you to check the website of your EAS equipment manufacturer for any service information or necessary updates. The Sage EAN Service Bulletin outlines the procedure for checking the settings of your EAN filter. This is the screen that determines how your device will respond when it receives an EAN. The default settings of the Sage device should look like this. We learned a couple of things here. Although the November 9th National EAS Test won't include an Emergency Action Termination, or EAT code, it must remain in the filter under events. The Sage front panel LEDs will flash and the message will not forward if either the EAN or EAT codes are missing from the events field. Also, ensure that the locations field does not include local area or the EAN won't forward. Either leave the locations field blank or add all locations. This is a summary of the test environment. A Sage Model 1822 was used to create the EAN. It was programmed with Washington, D.C. as its local area, which is the FIPS code that will be used for the November 9th national test. The current Sage Model 3644 digital index was used as the radio station unit. This unit was about to be installed at radio station WQXI in Atlanta and was programmed with the appropriate default settings for the station and the Fulton County, Georgia local area. Recordings were used to provide the EAS originating message and to simulate radio station programming. For the test, we used a variation of EAS copy that's part of the Georgia State EAS plan. The message was read a number of times in order to fill 2 minutes and 30 seconds, which will be the approximate length of the real message. Since we did the test, FEMA released the actual copy that will be used on November 9th, but the message length and the results should be similar to this demonstration. 3, 2, This is an emergency action notification test. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification test message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the National Emergency Alert System test. If this had been an actual emergency, most stations would remain on the air, providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WQXI Atlanta. We would continue to serve the Fulton County area. If you are not in this local area, you would tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the National Emergency Alert System Test, serving the Fulton County area. In the event of an actual emergency, do not use your telephone, as telephone lines should be kept open for emergency use. This has been a test of the Emergency Action Notification System. This is an Emergency Action Notification Test. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this Emergency Action Notification Test message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the National Emergency Alert System Test. If this had been an actual emergency, most stations would remain on the air, providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WQXI Atlanta. We would continue to serve the Fulton County area. If you are not in this local area, you would tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the National Emergency Alert System Test, serving the Fulton County area. In the event of an actual emergency, do not use your telephone, as telephone lines should be kept open for emergency use. 
This has been a test of the Emergency Action Notification System. This is an Emergency Action Notification Test. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this Emergency Action Notification Test message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the National Emergency Alert System Test. If this had been an actual emergency, most stations would remain on the air, providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WQXI Atlanta. We would continue to serve the Fulton County area. If you are not in this local area, you would tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the National Emergency Alert System Test, serving the Fulton County area. In the event of an actual emergency, do not use your telephone, as telephone lines should be kept open for emergency use. This has been a test of the Emergency Action Notification System. On the day of the test, there's one important item to know. If for some reason the source your station monitors doesn't properly complete the national test and or doesn't send the end of message tones, you may need to retake control of your station's EAS encoder decoder as it will be locked to the EAN audio indefinitely. The process to abort the EAN is outlined in the SAGE EAN service bulletin. To abort the test, press the abort soft key from the front panel. Read the screen and click yes twice more. The index will release the program relay, send the end of message tones, and return to normal operation. If there's a problem with the national test and an EOM is not sent, this is the only safe way to get out of the test so you don't propagate a failure. Do not simply pot down the box or worse yet, unplug the index. Even if the station you monitor doesn't send the EOM, your station should. However, do this only if you're certain that the EAN has failed. Don't be too quick on the trigger. Every other station in the country will be doing the same thing as yours. We ran this simulation a number of times and got the same results as we've shown. We believe this is how the November 9th national test will look. The whole process times out to roughly three minutes. Again, please don't try to set this test up yourself. EAS index are not normally enabled to send EANs. There's good reason for that. Hopefully this video will give you an idea of how it will look, at least using the SAGE index, so you can confidently watch the process happen on November 9th. Many thanks to Scott Trask and Joshua Smith of Lincoln Financial Media in Atlanta, Georgia for setting up and recording the simulation. For more information, including a best practices guide and an EAS National Test Toolkit, go to www.fema.gov slash emergency slash IPAWS slash EAS underscore info dot SHTM. You can also search EAS National Test or look for more information at radiomagonline.com.